Repairing a mobile device is different from repairing larger, more generic computers. First, there are thousands of types of mobile devices. There's no way we can cover all the differences. Instead, let's check out some of the tools and techniques that you'll rely on to keep mobile devices in your organization running. As an IT support specialist, you might receive training in this area and be responsible for repairing devices that your organization owns. Before you attempt any repairs, make sure you're familiar with your organization's policy around mobile device repair. Depending on the device, you may or may not be able to repair it on your own, but not so fast. Keep in mind that even when you can repair a device on your own, it will usually void the warranty. So check the impact on the warranty before working on a device. With specific training, you might be able to perform some repairs without violating the warranty of the device. For example, you might be allowed to replace a cracked smartphone screen without voiding the warranty, but you're probably not permitted to replace a damaged charging port. If you're not allowed to perform your own repairs, then it may be your job to send the device out for repair or replacement with an outside vendor or manufacturer. You should know and understand the return merchandise authorization or RMA process for each device that you deal with. The device's warranty or the service agreement that your organization has with the device's manufacturer will determine how and when it will be repaired or replaced. Depending on the device and your organization's policies, you might also need to make sure that there's no proprietary or personal data on the device before it's sent off for repair by doing a factory reset on the device. A factory reset will remove all data, apps, and customizations from the device. We'll talk a lot more about factory resets and backing up end user data in future videos. For now, just keep in mind that the end user should be told what will happen to their data when a device is sent off for service. When repairing a mobile device, follow the same best practices that we showed you for working on a PC. Protect against static discharge, use the right tools, keep parts organized and labeled. Taking pictures along the way can help a lot too. Follow vendor documentation and test the device to make sure it still works.